Okay, so if we take a look at eDrawings, the first thing that you'll notice is that the user interface has been updated to be consistent with tablet and phone devices, which with the introduction of Windows 8.1 and many laptops have in touch screens, I think that makes sense. So our icons are spaced far apart to make them easy to select, but everything works in a similar fashion to before. So if we just go ahead and move some components, we'll just have a look at that in action. I've just got to, got to drag them along the triad and rotate them around. The measure tool works in uh, much the same way. Just notice that you have got filters down the bottom, um, which are, if you are using that touch functionality, will obviously come in quite useful. I'm just going to measure between two arcs here. Like so. Um, section works in much the same way, so we can section through our components as before. And if we just reset that view, if we go to uh, the right hand side, we've got our markup tools listed there. So we've got labels, shapes, dimensions, images. And if you click on one of them, it has its own separate sub menu. Uh, so we'll just uh, add in a note to see that in action. So the um, component tree has been hidden um, to give you as much screen space as possible. So if we click on the components, uh, we can see our tree here. Uh, we have a filter up the top to make it easy to search for components. If I go ahead and, and select a component, you'll see from this menu here, I can show all, uh, hide show, make transparent or solid, or isolate. We'll just bring that view back. We now have a heads up view display, um, making it consistent with uh, SolidWorks, where we have a select tool, pan, rotate, various zooms. And if we drill down into the view orientation menu here, you can see that we've got our standard view similar to SolidWorks, but now also custom views come in, which is, uh, is obviously really handy too. Another nice new enhancement is uh, if we go to the file menu, you'll see that we can access the custom properties directly from the SolidWorks model. Um, so previously these were unavailable to us, but now they're there, which is, is really good. We switch to um, another window. Within this window here, we have some simulation results. So you'll now see that we get the, the fixtures shown on the uh, screen. And if we go to the bottom right hand corner, we can toggle on the visibility of all the various uh, fixtures and forces, just making it clearer to understand exactly what's been fixed and where the forces have been applied. If we just expand this uh, section out here, we can see our load case manager. And within here, we can access the various different plots uh, within our study. We now also find that plastics results can be exported to um, eDrawing. So we've got a fill time plot here, uh, which has been exported out and we can toggle off the, uh, the title and the legend should we wish to. So just to summarize, We've got a new user interface to match eDrawings Mobile, and we now support custom properties, name views, simulation fixtures, plastic results, and um, you're probably aware that it's been available on Android OS for, for a fair while now. On to Ed for drawings.